Well, hello, Libra. How are you? My name is Josie Kay, and this is Josie Kay Tarot. I am here to provide you with a spiritual message reading um, for the week of May 16th, 2016. Um, I've already prayed over the cards and blessed them with my stones and done everything I need to and have really been trying to grab a hold of what's going on here. Um, <clears throat> right at the center of everything is the yes card. Something the Libras love to hear. Um, <clears throat> my daughter's a Libra, so I can say that. She is just into everything. <coughs> Pardon me. But on your mind, you were worried about money. And in the past, you were trying to have, well, you weren't trying to, you had to be tight with your money. And now you're looking to see if you have enough money for the changes that are up and coming in your life. In the future, not too near, in fact, could be right now, you're kind of looking back at something or stuff you left behind. Don't dig into that and go too far. I mean, if you did, for those of you who are maybe single, you take the Ace of Cups path, brand new path to love, right wham, into the lovers. And after the lovers, you hear all this dreamy, beautiful stuff. Isn't that sweet? And then all of a sudden, your chariot comes to pick you up because he called for it. And you are done. Bye-bye now. Thank you for everything that I got from that. Okay, so... Down below, we have kind of that's Rider weight, and we're still going to do a lot with this Rider weight because it was really talking to me. So down below the S card is more of a foundation, like what's what built this foundation, what created all of that craziness up there, and I, it's just craziness. Um, so down below, you're looking, you're looking at a plan. You went through some kind of struggle like but you didn't really win anything out of the deal and everything's looking backwards you're looking backwards look at that you want to go on a path so that's your path thing and then down here it's like haha i fought i got in that fight and i thought i won but pretty much now i didn't win any new friends out of the deal and then up here it's like there's this little kid that you dealt with in the past and now you're looking back to should I go back and deal with that or help with that or maybe someone who acts like a small child I don't know um, but I do know that when you do look back there's a lot of confusion and misunderstanding and you're not sure of the situation so you're sitting there going hmm should well, how do I make up my mind money's getting tight and I'm working super hard I want to feel like the sun that's a good way to feel but if I go back there, I am dealing with these people. Two wands and a water sign. Two wands can be two Sagittariuses, Aries, or Leos. They can be rising sign, moon sign, or sun sign, and they can be male or female. The Queen of Cups, I'm getting a feeling really, really is... It's a mother, and she's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So, yeah, that's going to be something you'll be heading back into also. So, you know, I'm trying to think, you know, is this all the only message I'm getting? Is this exactly what we're really needing? Try, you know, supposed to be pulling out of here. And I asked for four more cards. Interesting enough, I saw, hey, there's some really fun celebration. I was like, well, that sounds good. And then, boom, in comes this ace, uh, Knight of Swords, which is an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, rushing back, wanting to celebrate and hang out. This is what happened when that happened in the past. And you found out that he or she, this could be he or she, is this. So I don't know if you want to run back to all that. I surely would not. I mean... There's so many fun people to play with in this world. You know what I mean? You can always get together, meet new people every day, make plans every day to get to know all the souls of the world. And that is our job is to, you know, send our souls out. You meet who you do. You take, and it's not taking, you don't take from them. You absorb from them what it is 
to educate you on what you need on your path here in life. And, and you pull from people, they pull from you, and then you bounce like little round molecules and you get to know other people. And then it all creates a way inside of you to figure out who you are in order to get closer to heaven. And that's a whole different conversation. So I'm sorry I went off in that area. Okay. Hermit, so you're thinking. You're thinking about somebody else who is a... You know, I'm not sure that she's a Queen of Wands. It is a Queen of Wands, but something's telling me to describe her. And she has kind of brownish hair. She has flowers around her. So somebody's taking very good care of her. Um, she seems to have two little lions at each side of her. Two up above, up above her head, like in her mind that she's thinking of. And a little devious little stinker kitty cat sitting in front. So if you know any woman that sounds like that, hey, you know, if it clicks, you write me an email and you say, give me a little free reading because I need to know what that meant. And then I'll say, okay, email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. We'll see what we can do. All right. So now we move over to, let's see, where do we go next? Gateway. So that was... Rider Wait, this is Gateway. Gateway is saying you have a new path. Yippee. Brand new path involving maybe money. Horse. Maybe that's why you left. Because there were... This is exhausted. And this is stuck in your back. People talking and stupid things like that. And then you got justice. And you became the sun. And you may or may not have may or may not have a boss that is a king of coins, earth, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun rising or moon, male or female. Yep, new path of love, but you're pretty broken. Feeling broken, Libra. You may get an offer of love from this earth sign. And the world will bring you a new path and lots of money. Well, that sounds like a wonderful dream. So that's all kind of tucked behind this new path. So keep an eye open for that. You know, when you're broken, don't take the first thing that you think is going to heal you. Don't listen to the first line. In fact, go put yourself away for a while and do some meditation. Put yourself into a mindset where you can say, I want to live like a queen. I want to have this stuff. I'm going to work very hard. I want someone that gets me flowers every Friday and never, ever, ever stops because they are out there. Okay? And that's good because I think you might find one. This was in the middle. Okay? And that is your Ten of Cups home card. Partnership. Okay. In the past. In the past. Okay, just a little fear in there, but it's a good sign. So the only thing it says is temper, temper. Keep your temper, especially when dealing with anyone or anything that has to do with your past right now. And this is only a weekly reading, mind you. We move on to the Gilded Tarot. The Gilded Tarot said, hey, I feel like the fool. I want to go out and just be a fool. I want to jump on a path or in a big old stretched limo and head across wherever and go have a good time. That's what I want to do. Well, right there is the Ace of Cups. A brand new path to love. Oh, that sounds fun. And then all of a sudden, there's a Ten of Wands going, I am just overworked. Is that hungover? So we got the Two of Cups saying, is it love? Is it hard work? Yes, love and hard work. Could you have the whole world in the palm of your hands offering love and saying, I don't have to look anymore for somebody. There's a new path that offers everything between there's an earth sign right here an earth a knight of pentacles and and that's the and you got the queen of pentacles too on your mind some of you may be focusing with love i'm feeling on an earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn and um let's see He's got this one around him. I'm not sure. You know what this is telling me? I don't see a love anything. This is telling me like somebody, I think it's a, I think it's a work person or it's somebody that's around that guy. 
Maybe somebody has a crush on that guy. Queen of Wands. So she'd be a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female, okay? Um, yeah, and your foundation kind of stinks. You're just kind of like, ugh, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Everybody talked about me. I'm done. But up above, like I said, you're the queen of pentacles. You're thinking about love, right choice, coming in quickly, partying, having fun, judgment. You will be able to make the choice. You'll be in that position, like I was saying. If you get built back up, you say what you want, then you will find yourself in that position where you have the control of everything when you step forward. Stepping forward is in a, a big accomplishment of its own. So let's finish this reading because I'm sure this has been long. Um, we got uh, Teresa, and it's right after what we were just talking about. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. And I say Teresa, not Teresa, because I have a friend named Teresa. And it's just that card just always reminds me of her. Astara, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and do not compromise, Libra. What did I just say earlier? Oh my gosh. This is your fairy tale. Make it what you want it to be, I'm hearing. King of Water. Oh, where did he come from? Woo, where in the world did he come from? Either this is you loving. Hmm, there's a king of water in here this week. So look, I, I, you know, or you know what this means, though? It says to love those around you. So as you're opening up, as you're figuring out what it is you want, as you're setting goals for yourself, I think you're going to start feeling so good within yourself that you can start to share that love outside of you to other people. That's what I think this is about. And there's an illusion of being trapped, afraid to take action, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies. I mean, that, on and on and on. Don't do that because right at the very, very, very base where you are stuck in the ground of what you have created with everything you put into yourself, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, and ch a change in your life. Like right now, Ace of Fire, brand new path, brand new path. Oh my gosh, brand new path. Path of love, these are the things that open up when instead of staying stagnant and looking backward, you start to move forward and setting goals and starting to say, hey, you know what? I'm awesome. That's what you want to do. So, yeah, the last angel card I got from the messages from your angels deck by Doreen Virtue was Grace and Antoinette to help heal the situation, see the other person's view with compassion. And that is really, really important because I talk a lot of, on here about karma. You know that you are close to being the angel God wants you to be in your soul, whatever, whatever. If you start doing things that are out of compassion for those maybe you don't even like. I have gotten myself to where I even as close to almost as close to when something takes place, I pray for them on the spot. I forgive them and I, I do pray for them a few times after. As much as you know it's difficult to do, but you have to do it because all it it's energy. So then all of a sudden you start to fill up with good stuff. I mean, I've gone through months of depression and look at me now. I mean, thank God I have all of you. You pulled me out and built me up and made me a whole different person and that's what you need is a project like that something I can feel it to keep you occupied because it isn't all about love it's all about the love inside of you that's what this is about so Libra just open up and love and I think the real love that comes out is even going to surprise you in the next couple weeks but I will see you again next week have a great week